Hello everyone, we have a math problem that involves pair of polar equations and it says the figure below shows the graph of the polar curve r is equal to 2 plus 4 times sine theta. What is the area of the shaded region? So this orange shaded region. And you may be thinking, what is this uh, shape, the, per the pink outlined shape? Well, I just put it there to show you guys how to find for the area of polar curves. Okay, so first we have, okay, I'll draw this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it. We're going to call this angle theta and this length, of course, r. And the, the length of this arc, L, is equal to r times r times theta, right? And so the area will be equal to 1 half times r squared times d theta. Now this is just approximately and so the total area will be equal to, we, we will have to take the integral of it. So from a to b of r squared times d theta. So this area is just the area of approximate area of this one shape. And when we're taking the integral, we're taking all of these other shapes and adding them up, okay? So this is our formula for finding the area of polar curves. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to actually solve for the problem. First, we have to find for the intervals, right? A and B. And the way to find for that is, well, first I'm going to draw r is equal to 2 plus 4 times sine theta by treating it as like x and y values. So the y-axis will represent r, the radius, and the x-axis will represent the theta. And now if I draw it, we'll have something like this. Okay, so this is what it would look like if I draw this polar curve or polar equation by treating it as like x and y values. And of course, it would still keep going here. The curve from theta is equal to zero to pi over two, this arc, that will, we'll call that one. And so if we actually, when we're drawing it, that will be, this length here, so this part. And the second curve from a power two to pi, that will be this length. And then for pi to three power two, that would be this length. And then for from three power two to two pi, that would be from here to right here. And so many of you guys might think that our new interval would be from a pi to two pi, which is not true. If, if we were to do it from pi to two pi, then we would be doing it, then we would be finding for the area of this curve. And we're just trying to find for the area that is enclosed by just this curve, kind of like an oval shape or a teardrop. So, and I, it's kind of hard to explain this, I don't know how, but the part where it encloses this is at is when theta is equal to zero. Because like it touches right in the center. And so we just have to find for the for these two theta values. And to do that, we're going to set our polar equation equal, equal to zero. So four plus four times sine theta is equal to zero. That means that sine theta 
will have to be equal to negative one half. And when is sine theta equal to negative one half? Well, let's draw the unit circle really quick. Okay, that is an awful circle, but we'll go with it. And this is the y-axis. And so this is like basically where these are basically our two theta values. And this theta value is, hold on, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 pi over 6. And this theta value is 11 pi over 6. So these two would be our interval. Now we, if we just put it in, a is equal to 7 pi over 6 and b is equal to 11 pi over 6. And then we also put in the r, which is equal to 2 plus 4 times sine theta. And we square it. Technically, if you do actually calculate this equation, this integral by hand, you will be actually get able to get the right answer, right? But that would take a long time, so I'll just show you guys the actual answer with my calculator. Okay, so I have the equation written down right here, and there's more. And so if I calculate this integral that's busy, I would get 2.174. That would be our approximate answer. 2.174. Okay, that will be it for this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.